What's going on, y'all? Well, it's a uh, it's a windy morning, but Joey and I are going to go out and try to see if we can't catch a couple fish. I got to work tonight, but I told Joey, heck, let's try it. So I'm going to start it off with a bang. <laughs> Anywho, stay tuned. Hopefully, catch a couple fish. Hopefully, we don't get blown off the water. We are both going to be running Hobies today. We both uh, finally picked up some Hobies. I have an older model uh, Outback. Joey picked up a newer model Outback. And so uh, we, we got some prices that we couldn't pass down or pass up. So we said, you know what? Let's take them for our maiden voyage today. Stay tuned. <laughs> fam hey today me and Tyler decided to come out here to the Copano bridge and decide to come fishing today see our see if we can catch a redfish or a couple of redfish and uh, some trout uh, it's uh last time I checked it was like 59 degrees or so I'd be happy with a hard head Tyler would be happy with the hard head it's true but uh yeah, because I guess he got skunked the last time he was out. The first time he took out the Hobie. Obviously, this is the first time I'm taking out my Hobie. Uh, so hopefully, we get out there catching fish. But anyway, stay tuned. And uh, hopefully, we hook up to something. Oh, fish on. Let's see what we got here. Feels like a trout. Hey, I was right. Yeah. Oop. Fish in the boat, son. Fish in the boat. There we go. There we go. I'd say it's about 15 inches or so, y'all. Put that one back. See if we can't do that again. See if we can't do that again here. First fish in the Hobie. Not too shabby. I would just like to thank uh, Rockport Ryan for our life preservers, our personal flotation devices. He was able to hook us up with a couple of nice ones. That's awful nice of them. The trout sniffer, of course, found the trout. Big surprise there. Trying to get back up here a little shallower again. We're in about two and a half foot of water when I caught that fish. There we go. There we go. Oh, hey. Ah, oh, it came off. Son of a gun. Guys, I think that's a little bit better trout right there.
better one. Woo! Ha ha! Mission the boat, son. Now it's done. I'm gonna try to get back over here. I don't know if I can, it's all sand here. There we go, y'all. Egret Bates does it again. Egret Bait. That's a good trout. He's probably good 16, 17. Thanks to Rockport Ryan for letting us come out and help do this. Dude, I want to fish. We're on top of him right here. You're the cameraman. Hey, it drops off to almost four feet right here. They're on this lip. Fish on, son. It's a dinker. It's a dinky one. It's a guy. Ow, oh, he bit me. Oh, I'm trying to save him, not rip out his gills. Cause he inhaled it. Oh, you're fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a 360. Watch this. Dude, throw it right there and drop it down. Good one, guys. Good one. It's going to be a good freaking fish right here. Oh, I got some drag to him. Beautiful. Come on, guys. That's what we were looking for. Like I said, one red fish for today. One red fish for today. Come on, baby. He has some fight left. Don't get underneath the boat, even though I drug you over here. Woo! Yes, sir! Mmm. Look at this beautiful redfish, guys. Gave a great fight. Great fight right there. All right, see if I can reach it. First redfish in the new kayak. Measure them up. Hopefully not lose them while I'm doing this. Whew. Don't flop around on me. Oh. Oh. If I pinch it. If I pinch it. Don't know if y'all can see that, but I mean, if I pinch the tail, I'm squeezing it. <laughs> I'm squeezing it. All right. It's awesome. Let's just, let's just call that one almost 20. All right. So it is definitely windy. Obviously, you could tell, but me and Tyler were able to land trout and redfish today. Heck yeah. We have gone farther than we've ever gone in a kayak. Uh, I mean, that was a pretty good distance for us. The new Hobies, his Hobie, by the way. New to us, not Yeah, not well, new. yeah, exactly, exactly. 
but they have done a great job. I mean, I, it took it took the w wind and the rough waves just perfectly. And uh, I've enjoyed it so far. What about you, Tyler? Hey, you know what? It took me further than my pescador. My pescador probably could have got me out there, but I don't know if I would have felt comfortable out there in those waves and that wind riding on my pescador. The Hobie, no problems whatsoever. Exactly. See, I, I feel more comfortable too, especially with the wind paddling back in that the, that wind and waves. Man, I think it would have been such a pain in the butt having the fins underwater to cut through that current and not be out in the wind. Whew. Awesome. Anyways, guys, thank you for sticking with us. Stay in tune. Remember, if you're new to the channel, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and turn on that little bell for notifications. Other than that, you guys, remember, it's always about friends and family.